Hey guys, thank you for being here. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Andrew, coming to you from beautiful Costa Rica. Thank you very much for being here. I'm going to jump right into this topic today, and it's going to be, does the narcissist fear being exposed? Think about it. I think you already know the answer. I'm going to jump into this topic, and I'm going to explain to you a bunch of reasons why, and then, guys, remember, like, subscribe, share, all the good stuff. Let's keep the content going. The narcissist does fear being exposed. And this is 100% evident because think for a moment, why do you think that they have so many different sources of supply? Why do you think that they're always on the, on the phone texting, talking to people, and they jump from relationship to relationship? Exactly. Why do they not have long-term friends? Exactly. Why can't they sustain uh, jobs for, many, for long periods of time? Or why can't they just actually have a loving, close, healthy relationship with a significant other? That's right. All, the, all, those, all those questions are simply because eventually most people understand what narcissism is and they catch on to the narcissist. And what they do sometimes is the narcissist, when they realize, oh my gosh, I'm, this person's onto me after a couple months or years or whatever it is, maybe it's a 30 year marriage, but they actually, they're understanding. Then they run away like little school kids and they find a new person to just to crush, destroy, and manipulate. It, it's the same thing over and over again, guys. It, it's like a child going back, taking their toys and going home on the playground. They can't sustain a real loving relationship. The reason why is because eventually people will discover that the narcissist is in fact a narcissist. And who wants to be in a relationship with a narcissist? Nobody. Absolutely nobody. So for whatever length of time you're in the relationship with the narcissist, think about it. The love bomb, the deval, the discard, all those things we know. But the point is, why were they always grooming other sources of supply? Because they knew eventually you would find out. And that's 100% a fact. Think, if it were a normal, healthy relationship, they wouldn't need all the supply. They wouldn't need a thousand friends. They wouldn't need three cell phones. They wouldn't need to be constantly busy, busy, busy. Why? Because they would be spending time with you, devoting energy, love, and time into you and the relationship. And they didn't do that after the love bomb they didn't do that what they did was literally guys think about this after the love bomb what they did is they literally said okay that's over I now have my fangs sunk into this person I can now take 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 and destroy and manipulate them but while I'm doing this in the back of my mind I know it's gonna to come to an end I know for a fact it will so what am I going to do that's right I'm gonna prepare for the next victim for the next person that I can manipulate and abuse and destroy you see, the narcissist is always on a search for that, for manipulation, destruction, um, take, 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 everything I'm saying, all the beauty, all the great attributes you have, that's what they want. But their, their plan eventually, like all things, time, time, um, time runs out and they need a plan B, C, D, E, and it goes on and on. The thing is, is they don't want you to understand that they are a narcissist. They don't. They don't want you to discover that. Why? Because the longer you stay in the dark, the longer you remain uneducated, the longer you'll put up with their poor behavior, the longer they can uh, manipulate you and push your boundaries and push your buttons and control you and take everything from you, which includes your health, your looks, your, your money, your social status, physical things like houses, cars, whatever. That's what they do. Do you see this? That's exactly what they do. So that's why they're always having a backup plan. Like, let's take this for an example. If you were in the uh, narcissistic uh, significant other relationship, what did you do when you, when you first found, uh, before you knew they were a narcissist, of course, what did you do? That's right. You spent all your time, energy, devotion, love, effort, empathy into the relationship, building a foundation, working towards the future, working towards the same goals. While you were doing this, the narcissist wasn't. Remember, they were wearing their mask and they were fooling you and gaming you and doing anything they can to manipulate you to get as much out of you as possible. Yes, that's what they did. The whole time in the background, when they were disappearing for days on end, or not replying back quickly on texts, or uh, not answering your phone calls, things like this, what do you think they were doing? Were they working hard at their job? They weren't. Were they in a church praying for the best relationship possible? They were grooming other sources of supply, guys because they knew the clock was ticking with your relationship and they knew eventually you would figure it out and then when that happened, it would be like they always do. 
They discard the ending of the, of the relationship and they move on to fresh new supply, the new shiny thing, the new shiny object, just like you were once. Think about this, replay that a few times, it's so true. And guys, it's a fact. So does the narcissist, do they think about being exposed? Of course they do. Is that one of their fears? I believe it's their number one fear. I really do. Along with all the disgusting ways they live and all the vile manipulation and, and deceit and, and everything they do, I honestly believe being exposed is the number one fear they have. Because people are getting smarter on the planet. People are sharing information with others. They're understanding this, this movement is going nowhere. It's going, it's going better. It's going in our direction with the help of channels like mine and others. And by the way, thank you for being here. Please subscribe. It means so much to me. I love you guys. I love you all. God bless you. But the narcissist, this is a big fear of theirs, being exposed and being discovered. Because what it does is a couple things. One, it lets, it lets the person that discovers that they are narcissists, it empowers them. It makes them feel, oh my God, it wasn't me. It was the narcissist the whole time. I was right. I, uh, everything I thought is validated. It's true. Just like what happened to me and like what's happened to you. On top of that, it shrinks the amount of people that the narcissist can play their games on. Yeah, it's true. It's true, trust me. Because the more educated we are, the less victims or potential people they could disrupt and, and create havoc with. But most importantly, think about this one. Please replay this a bunch of times. It makes the narcissist look inward, which they hate to do. They do not want to look at themselves and, and actually address their inadequacies and how poor of a human being they are and how much destruction they cause. So when you figure that out, and, and if they are exposed, and I'm not saying to expose them, we did videos on that the other day. I'm just saying, that's always in the back of their mind. And when that happens, they're gonna go radio silent and they will disappear like a cockroach when you turn the light switch on. Yes, that's exactly what they will do. That's what mine did. The thing is this, the whole time when you, from, when you first meet the, the person who turns out to be a narcissist, when you meet them, you're just, you're an empath and you're loving and kind and considerate and you're excited about the relationship. So you're giving and that's great. Love bomb happens, deval, discard. And all during that, deval, discard, you're, you're a shell of yourself. You're like, what is this? What happened? This is, was it my fault? Did I do anything wrong? Like I should have done this. I can't believe it, blah, blah, blah. The whole time you're doing that, the narcissist is laughing. They're laughing, guys, laughing, because they know that they own you and that you are in a bad spot right where they wanted to put you. And they are also with a new supply. Maybe they're in the love bomb right now. Who knows? I don't know. But the point is, think of it as cycle. It's, it's cyclical. It's like there's like, say, four parts. There could be many more, but wow, a car needs brakes. <laughs> um, but when you are in the discard, your cycle is over and that's when you're left for some of the darkest days of your entire life and I don't wish that upon anybody ever 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 but while they're doing that they're not looking back at you they're not checking in on you hey are you okay today Andrew how, how are you let's get a cup of coffee and talk about it no radio silent they're moved on they don't care if you live or die sorry guys but they don't and they're grooming another new victim <sighs> and this is how it goes and then that that person We'll go through the same process you went through. Love bomb, deval, discard. And while that's happening, again, there's another person in the background. It never stops until we all become educated and make wise decisions on who our partners will be. So please, pay this video, play this video a few times. Understand what I'm talking about. The narcissist is always afraid. They're always in fear of so many things. But being exposed is clearly the number one thing because it makes them look inward and identify that yes, they are a fraud. They are wearing a mask. They're not genuine, they're not authentic, they're not loving, they're not empathetic. They don't care about anybody but themselves. They're blood sucking parasites that walk this planet. Guys, I hope you liked the video. I loved doing it. God bless you all. I love you from beautiful Costa Rica. This is Andrew and I'll talk to you soon. God bless you, bye.